Hey guys, it's Sarah. It is part two of our favorite video, and that's a Dollar Tree haul. Dun, da, da, da. If you guys did not see part one of this video, I hauled all of the amazing makeup and beauty finds that I found at the Dollar Tree this week. Because the video was over 20 minutes, I decided to cut it up into two parts, and this is the second part with all the other random awesomeness that I found. So if you didn't see part one, I'll have it linked down below and up here in the cards. Go check it out. I did it in part one, and I'm gonna do it in part two. I always start with the thing that I was most excited about and in this video I was most excited about dun, da, 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 the Aladdin tumblers dun, 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 tumble, 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 tumble. these are such a good deal like one of the best deals I think these are so stinking cute they have two options available I actually picked up six of them I believe but the boys already started using two of them a lot of the stores are getting large quantity of them I know my store had a bunch of them and they were in the front of the store other stores had them all out on the shelf so it really just depends I saw some Christmas themed ones these are the ones that they had at my store so they have just a silver um, a silver top this one is just the blue mug with the blue straw they had this one which is almost just like a sip like a sip style cups just so you can keep your drink covered and it didn't come with the straw so they had it in lime green and then I also got it in purple and then another version is just clear completely clear everything is clear so clear lid clear straw clear container um, they did have one with a different color straw I picked up that one as well so they had a couple different options I feel like these are perfect for teachers gifts that's why I did pick up so many you could put candy inside you could put a gift card inside you could put anything inside of here and kind of just amplifies the gift a little bit more so these are a really good deal I'll have the regular retail price on the screen but I first tried these back in the day they used to sell these at Walmart moving right along I have a few stationary things that I wanted to share um, so I I saw these elf products in the front of the store they have like this little novelty section I picked up two of the notebooks so they have this white one with the girl and the boy on there I thought this was cute it's just like lined paper and then the elf on the shelf with Santa also had a package of stationary set of pencils and erasers and these are so cute so these are good for stockings or if you do elf on the shelf that's what my plan is on the day that the elf comes he's gonna bring this so that one is blue and this one is green. So of course with two boys, I have to keep things pretty separate, like make sure they have each of their own. And then they had these multicolor clicky pens. So they had one in red and it has Santa and the elf. And then this one is green. So I thought these would be so stinking cute to bring for like little gifts that the elf brings. I found Pokemon pencils to go with Pokemon erasers that I found before. We have already cracked them open because Bobby was excited to try them out. It's a four pack of pencils and it's from the brand Creative Kids. So these were really good quality too. These stickers I thought were so cute. And I told you guys recently that I have like stopped really kind of doing my planner, like not, not writing in it, but actually decorating it. I just don't, I've been so busy. I'm like, that's the last thing that I'm thinking about is decorating my planner. But if I do go back, I thought these stickers would be perfect. So they say really funny things on there, like mediocre at adulting, didn't, didn't have a mental breakdown. I boiled water adulting put on pants today and it's all on top of like this really pretty circle floral background and then it has like little flower stickers so I thought these would be really cute they had a couple different styles there as well so I really liked these I thought they were cute they are kind of big but there's 18 stickers in here the glassware definitely blew me away at my Dollar Tree I was able to pick up three of these quart sized glass containers they have just the regular silver lid um, these are made in the USA. It's the first time that I've seen glass containers at my Dollar Tree this size. I thought these would be perfect for Christmas cookies if you're giving for gifts. So I saw this in the front of the store and it's merry and bright. I would call this like a candy jar. It has like the seal, the fresh seal on there. And then on the front it has the, just the decal that says merry and bright. Under the Christmas gift section, they have this dream of tomorrow. This is just a candle holder. It's in a really beautiful blue color they also had a green option and they also had a red option that all said different things but I really liked what this said and I liked the color blue that it was I did want to pick up one of the mugs and I didn't know if it was going to be for myself or for a gift it says making spirits bright in the same really nice like kind of contemporary font with the color it's basic and plain but it's also really cute a lot of the Dollar Tree fonts before were just so like old school looking so I feel like they're really trying 
a little bit harder to kind of step up their game with the font. So this is a good find for me. This Palm Olive is a really good find and it's something that I think a lot of people are looking for. It is the Palm Olive Green Apple White Lily um, dish soap. The size of it is really big. It's 20 ounces. Let's give it a, a sniff. Let's give it a sniff and see. Oh yeah, definitely smells like green apple. It did leak a little bit in the bag, but I was excited to pick this up for a dollar because you always need dish soap. Let's talk about Christmas because I am like, I'm there. I'm like, I'm there, I'm ready. This is like the first year that I'm like, girl, I'm gonna be decorating early. I'm getting really excited. So I do have a few Christmas things here that I want to share. I saw these two little baby silver Christmas trees, but this thing lights up some major LED. This is like gonna be like a disco party because once it starts going, it don't stop. It's like, it goes really, really fast. So hopefully I can add this to something and make it look really cute. But if not, we'll just leave it off because the multicolor lights is just not my style, but I thought it was cute for a dollar and I really like the shiny silver finish of the Christmas trees. I picked up a couple more um, ornament options. So this is really cute. I love the plaid background and the white Christmas tree that's on the front. The only thing is the background is cardboard. So that is a little bit cheap. I'm like, mm, Dollar Tree could have did a little bit better, but I do like the little bit of greenery that they have there, the little bit of berries. Everybody and their mother has already hauled these gigantic snowflakes. They were there last year, they're back again this year, but they're just blinged out snowflakes that I'm gonna be using right back here to do our kind of mantle, our non-mantle mantle. Since I don't have a mantle, I like to set it up back here as kind of like a mantle. So we're gonna be using these. And I got one of these glass style Christmas balls I've been watching so many Christmas decorating videos and things like that and a lot of people have been using ones like this and I keep passing it by because it always like reminded me of like old school but I I see a lot of people using them and they look really nice so I just picked up one so this year I decided to get four stockings two in this burlap and red shade this has the red at the top and on the back, and then it has the red snowflakes over top of the burlap. And then I saw these green uh, stockings and I thought that they were really nice. I love the little bit of blinginess that they have, but I also thought that the white was kind of plush. So I thought alternating these two would look really nice. And of course I have the ones that I've used in previous years. I went with these two rolls of wrapping paper and these are, let's see, 15 square feet. This is silver and kind of gold. It's almost like silver metallic and then like a matte gold finish. And I'm gonna use these for a DIY, not for wrapping gifts, but for a DIY. So I'm excited to try it out and see how it turns out. The Christmas tree signs at the Dollar Tree are amazing this year. They get major, major props from me for the signs. So if you guys are looking for pieces to put on your wall, the Dollar Tree has really good ones. So I got Rudolph over here and Rudolph is pretty big. If you look at him in like my head, you know what I mean? He is pretty big. So I feel like you can add to him if you want something big and make it bigger. And he is pretty glittery. A tip that I always share is if you don't want this glitter to be everywhere, give it a good coat of spray, uh, hairspray and it will help to make the glitter stick a little bit better. And then the last one that I got was this Merry Christmas. It has um, the green and a red, and then it's on just like a red background. So that is all for the Christmas stuff. Let's keep moving right along. They did have socks. It's four pairs of, these are in a size large. They're called Little Perfection Socks. They're just plain, I would call these like baseball socks in my head, that's what I call them. I don't know if they have a different name. But these are a very different quality than the normal socks and I love the Dollar Tree socks. It's one of my favorite things to get there. But these are really nice quality. They're really, really soft and four socks for the little guys is always a good deal so I picked up one of them. I got one thing of wine glasses for another DIY that I have planned coming super soon. And then I saw these locket, these are locket mounting tapes. I've been really obsessed with mounting tape. I don't wanna be bothered with like hammer, nails, hanging things. I wanna just be able to pop it on the wall and it stays. In my loves and lows, you guys mentioned to cut the um, soap pads into half or even to fours. So I have started doing that. Thank you guys so much for that suggestion. You like saved me wasting so many of these pads. So these are good for washing your pots and your pans. If you have any like 
like crud like stuck on grease on your pants this really helps to get all of that off so that was everything from my two-part haul i'm still looking for the copper kitchenware i have my fingers and toes crossed that i can find it i really want those metal bowls because they are always good to have on hand I have my fingers crossed that it's going to come in next week's shipment. So we shall see. You guys know I'll be back and let you guys know if I can find it. As always, I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. It helps me out so very much. Check out part one of this video if you didn't see it. Subscribe to my channel if you have not already. And as always, I love you guys. And I will see you guys tomorrow for another video. Bye, guys. Life could be a dream, sweet.